I'm not a believer. I don't believe that we have an influence of evil, of God, of nothing in our society. I believe in the evolution of our species. I believe that we live uh, in a world of conflict. I believe that we are a species, very, very dangerous species. We are deep uh, predators, aggressive. And uh, our story after the beginning of the time is the same. I had the opportunity as a photographer to travel in the historical moment that I live, doing these pictures, and they tell our history. I don't went especially for the violence and not especially to see the, the tough part of the human being. I went to see histories that were important in our life, in this historical moment that we live. And uh, in this moment I made uh, what we are. I don't create any uh, fiction about the human being. What I did is a kind of cross-section of our history. I came for one an underdeveloped country. I was a leftist. I made the studies of Marxism. The working class was the center of my preoccupation for a long time. I were an economist. I studied macroeconomy. And in a moment, it was very easy to me to understand that we are living the end of a huge industrial revolution. And it came to me a wish to do a kind of homage to this working class before that working class be becomes another thing. With uh, the arrival of intelligent machines in the production line of the computers, the robots, and many others, the way to produce started to change very drastically. I take a decision to go ahead to do a tour of the planet, looking for the last moment of this traditional working class, where the products are part of the hand labor of each one. The cars that came in that time for the assembly line was part of the work of everyone. After a moment, they start to be built by robots and the workers that before assembly the car, another generation of the work, not more the traditional work, they start to take care of robots that were assembling the car. And the philosophy completely changed. And I went to do a homage to this traditional working class. And the name of the book that came out from this, The Body of Work, were Workers, an Archaeology of Industrial Era. I love color. I have a lot of friends that are incredible color photographers. I am not. I cannot use color to represent a reality. Because I'm so disturbed by the strong colors, by the blues, by the reds. And that disturbs a lot in the moment of photograph. When I made an abstraction, because black and white is a pure abstraction, nothing is in black and white. But when I put all these colors in different kind of grays, I can concentrate in what I'm doing. And minding black and white is for me a huge concentration. I have no any disturbance, a kind of harmony inside these black and white photographies. And uh, for me, when I imagine in black and white, I am in peace. When I imagine in color, for me, Sebastian Salgado is a big, complicated thing. To photograph is not to go there and get a snapshot and come back. To photograph is to displace inside a movement. A phenomenon happen in front of you, integrated to it, you go photographing just that you finish. In a moment, you see, you understand that everything came together in order to have a strong image. And you cannot have this image a second before and a second later. In this fraction of second, you might must realize it. But you know instinctively before that the good image will happen, that the image will happen. I did a book called Migrations. I worked for seven years in one guideline that was the movements of population around the world. Because this, I went to see populations that were fleeing the fights. For example, Rwanda in 1994. 95, 96, I was linked working with these populations. I work a lot in the wars in former Yugoslavia. But I work at the same time with the populations in huge towns as São Paulo, Bombay, Cairo, Jakarta. I work in nine huge towns on the planet 
that we can make because of the migration. I work a lot of displacement of population from inside the fields to these big towns because in this period I had more than 200 million people per year that was abandoned the fields, transferred themselves to the urban sector of the countries. When I went to photograph migration, I was in a certain sense to photograph my own story. I came here in France in 1969 because there was no more possible to stay in Brazil. We were here for a while in exile. And until now, we live here, we are a migrant. And uh, I know this story, of course, that they were well received. I am uh, upper class. I prepared a PhD in economics. I had a very interesting job. But be migrant is not a matter of goods, is a matter of spirit. You are far from your roots. You are far from your culture. You are far away from your family, from your base of your society, from where you come from. You break something, your links, and you try to establish another in another point. And when I went to photograph migration, I went to photograph, in a sense, my own history. Genesis for me was very special because for the first time of my life, I did the other animals, I did the wood, the vegetal wood, the mineral wood. In reality, mineral wood and vegetal wood means landscape. For the first time, I went to a photography that I thought that were pure contemplation. I discovered that to photograph a landscape, you must love the landscape. You must love the mountains, the minerals, the wind, the erosions. You must uh, respect a tree that is in front of you, have an admiration for it in order to represent it. Just before Genesis, I had photographed just one animal all life long, us, the humans. And I made a huge discovery that it changed completely my life. I made 32 longer trips inside the Genesis. But probably the biggest trip that I made was inside myself. To put myself in front of my planet. To discover that uh, each piece is deeply rational. But for this, you need time. I put eight years to do this body of work. And uh, in these eight years, I learn a lot. I'm part of this huge uh, family. I love very much to work inside the, the human groups. I'm doing now, after Janus, a body of work in Amazonia. I'm working with uh, Amazonian tribes, with one very interesting tribe in Amazonia. I'm going back now again for a while more. And uh, for me, it's so interesting to live with this, these groups. And uh, in reality, it's not too different to work with a tribe inside Amazonia as work in a community in the United States. It's a history of community. It's a history of solidarity of group. We are a gregarian animal made to live together. What's important from each group is important for the other. And it is very interesting to find this all over the planet and find that when you come in a very small group or alone like I go, you are received by this group, you become part of this group, you learn a lot of this group. And your life, when you come out of one group like this, is much more rich than the moment that you went inside. And when you cross a very small cultural barrier, when you go inside, we go inside this piece, you are inside your group. Sometimes for me, it was very difficult to photograph the group of lions because it was necessary for me to try to understand the lions. To photograph the tortoise was necessary to me to put inside the logical system of the tortoise. But when I come to photograph my piece, there is no problem. In few hours, I'm completely integrated because in the end I'm photographing myself. This film is not about photography. This film is about a person that uh, had the opportunity to participate in a lot of different uh, important moments of uh, our history. 
is a film that shows about 40 years of my life. And in these 40 years, this film shows this movement in the upper part of the historic wave that it represents. This film represents, for me, coherence between an ethical point of view, an aesthetic point of view, and a philosophical point of view. If one day my work becomes a reference, they can be considered an artistic work. But uh, when I do them, they are photography. They are a cross-section of the reality that I'm living. They are much more than just one artist, artistic between brackets work. They are my history. They are the history of my society. They, they had much more power than just a few photographs.